Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Cancer weekly money and career reading for April 11th to April 17th. Cancer, let's see what is pushing you forward this week, what dynamic you have, what decisions you have to make or what messages we have in this money and career reading from april 11th to april 17th thank you thank you to everyone for tuning in if you've never watched any of my readings before and you enjoy connecting with them or you find a connection in them please consider subscribing and hitting the bell and comment down below if you do connect comment let me know what you're up to let me know if these readings help you, if you connect with them, if they give you a little clarity or just give you a little motivation. All right, let's see, Cancer. Here we go. Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Okay, so um, decision-making, decision-making, right? Mm, figuring things out, prioritizing. A lot going on. Situations may be that you want to get out of. You are out of there, Cancer. You are out of there. You're opening up to something new. Ten of Swords, the end of a difficult situation. The end of something, um, I'm not gonna say uncomfortable because it's the end of a, of a painful situation, but I, I feel like it's not something that has just happened cancer it is something that you have been weighing something that you've been thinking about uh, a job situation a career situation that you really uh maybe was a lot of responsibility or too much stress or too much too much going on where you um have to make a decision two of pentacles um and adapt to something else and move forward in a different dynamic a dynamic i feel like you're leaving a job leaving a job moving forward knight of knight of swords fast forward sort of imposing yourself in a new direction imposing yourself in um sort of that um determination to move out of there but into the two of wands which is that progress forward into a new career new job opening new responsibilities wow wow and and i think that this ten of swords situation whatever it is whether it is disappointment betrayal uh, people you believed in or people that you trusted that, you know, you clearly understood that they didn't have your back or betrayed you or just a disappointment in a career. And the three of the ten of swords can be too many cards can be um, uh, the end of that painful work situation. Yes. Here we go. I'm going to put the three of three of swords here because I said three of swords a minute ago. Um, so the the three of swords with the ten of swords is that moment in time where either you're leaving a job or, or the job is leaving you, or it's loss of finances. But I feel like that is in the past. Maybe it might be in the recent past, but it's something that you have left behind because you're making a decision fast forwarding and determine to open up to this new career new job it's progress progress forward and progress forward in a fast way um taking on more responsibilities and here you are with the high priestess understanding you have a very clear understanding of the situation a clear understanding of your path you know where you're going and um, the high priestess is really about the sign of that state of awareness. You understand exactly what the situation is. You know um, what your direction, your new direction is going to be. You realize the power of your intuition. You realize who you are and you realize um, 
what your next steps are going to be opening up and you're you're really so determined to develop to develop your skills to de develop uh, new contacts new ways new projects because you're out out of that ten of swords three of swords situation and if that's a moment in time where you realize you're shifting and you're working on, you know, that new career, those new responsibilities can, can be a promotion, it can be a new job, it can be a new career, starting your business, starting a project, take it as it resonates. But you're so aware now that you're moving on to something bigger, moving on to something better. You're transitioning into your next step, bigger and bolder, but really much more in touch with your, um, with who you are, with what you have to bring to the table. And I think there's a much um, uh, a clearer understanding of what you can do professionally. And you're realizing yourself, you're realizing that you, your, your powers are there. Um, you're, you're, you're seeking ways to uh, push forward in such a powerful way and, and realizing that this is, this is your next step and um, you're ready for that. And I think that this situation here, whatever it is for you, Cancer, Open your eyes, right? Open your eyes in making that decision, to of Pentacles, because you were juggling a lot and not really comfortable with what you were juggling, right? And now, pushing forward, pushing forward. Yes, look at this. So you have the high priestess, that clarity, that awareness of what you are representing now, what you are putting out there who you are you realize really who you are and here you go you are in control um powerful powerful cards the emperor in control leading and knowing your path knowing how to get there you are in control cancer wow you have the high priestess the emperor and the world wow um Bring it all, bringing it all together, getting out of that situation. Enough is enough. That was not for you. That was a negative, negative situation that you had to get out of. But I think it was the whole, the straw that broke the camel's back. Is that how you say it? Um, uh, you know, where it's, it was time to leave. So it's either you leaving or they leaving you or, you know, that situation where time to move on clarity so much clarity you know sometimes it's not a tower that's why i'm thinking that this is something that has already happened it's not a tower moment it is after that tower moment realizing that okay time to go time to move on and because i'm ready for more and because i'm going to have more responsibilities i'm pulling it all together to make it happen progress progress forward in control i i really like the the emperor that has a clear vision of what he wants not afraid of conflict anymore not afraid of obstacles anymore in control power decision maker leading the way and really this whole situation has enabled you to very clearly express what what you're going to what the next step is all about and um you have the final say you have the power to protect yourself to protect others to to have this leadership right and not let anybody weigh you down or anybody get in your way or and you have this way now cancer where when you come in you create calm when you come in you create that that um serenity right that that control and that serenity when we're at peace with oneself when that peace and where we stand and our decisions and how we're pushing forward and you um you uh are really carefully carefully but determined uh um 
carefully strategizing and mapping out your solutions, solving the problems one by one, making those decisions one by one to create that business. I really feel you're creating a business and you, it's almost like, it's almost like, um, yeah, you've gained so much wisdom with this situation, so much more experience, so much more positive energy that now you're enjoying guiding others. You're enjoying, um, 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 going, um, guiding others and, 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 um, mentoring others and being there for others so is it teaching is it guiding or is it consulting it can be consulting but whatever it is it's it's successful but you have a lot of responsibilities cancer this this week is moving into responsibility and awareness and response control and responsibility taking control of your career taking control of your decisions and standing by those decisions cancer you stand by what you want because you're clear in what you want you're clear in what you're pushing forward you're clear in what you're bringing to the table but it took this situation here this damn situation here for you to find that power to push forward and now, once you make that decision, give me one moment. I'm just going to put a little light on, make sure we have some light. There we go. Um, now that you have passed that difficult time and now you're in control, you know what you want and you're making those decisions. And I really think you're leading a job. You're le you have more responsibility. You have a... It's either getting into another job with responsibility or you're starting a project or starting a business. I really think you're, you're starting a business. This is you making decisions and you're growing, growing, growing into this job, into this business. This is your power, your sense of achievement and uh, that fulfillment that you find in this business, whatever it is. So it can be a project you are starting, that you're building something online, something brick and mortar, your idea, your product. This is something that you are in control of making the decision. You're the decision maker, right? And it's something that you have worked on. So maybe while you were working in this job, you were working on another project, working on your project, on your business, on your thing at home, you know, not talking to anybody about it. You have little, your hobby on the side or your thing on the side or your project, you're developing your ideas, whatever it is for you. And this situation here, maybe it was a full-time job. Maybe, it, you know, maybe it was the one that paid the bills. I paid the bills. I don't know. But it certainly is that trigger of bringing you to the next step, bringing you to the next level, bringing you to clarity. So, you know, many, many times these negative situations where we feel like, oh my, you know, why am I pulling through this? Why am I going through this? Why am I betrayed? Why is this happening? Why is this so negative? Why do I not connect anymore? And why am, not, why am I not in this job anymore? And sometimes it has nothing to do with you, right? And you're in this situation. Well, most of the time, 90% of the time, it is to um, project you to your next level, project you to the next thing, much bolder, much more responsibility, much more interesting in your life. The negative becomes real positive. And so everything sort of you, you have you're you're getting sort of a sense of closure of that situation. There was a bunch of nonsense um, and, and hurtful, hurtful. But you're processing that or you have processed that already because you knew you had to make decisions and sort things out. That was complicated. That was all over the place. And you knew you had to figure things out. And this week you are on a total new dynamic, determined, determined, ambition, ambition forward. You have the Emperor and the Knight of Swords, which is seen clear, but sharp. You're sharp minded and sharp tongued. I feel like you have given these people a piece of your mind. You have told them exactly what 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 this was all about and and what you thought and how this is never going to happen to you again a piece of your mind 
because you're the emperor and you're in control. And the world is coming full cycle, having that sense of closure that everything is sort of coming together. And now, now you can start. Now you're at the right place. And now you can honor your achievements and honor who you are and honor your power and your talent and celebrate your success and celebrate who you are because you are powerful no matter what happened here. You're now entering that source of power. And you're where you belong. You're on the you're on your right path. And now it's like that joy of bringing it all together, of bringing these new goals to fruition and that hard work is paying off and that, you know, that you're much more experienced now and that you don't have to rush into it cancer you do not have to be this I, I know you're sharp tongue and maybe you're angry and maybe you just want to jet out of there and enough is enough and tell them tell them like it is and you know but I think that it's more your ambition um getting back on track your power getting back on track and knowing that now it's straightforward and you're accepting and loving yourself for who you are accepting and loving yourself for what this is all about and letting go those harmful illusions that sometimes we have of ourselves of others or or the or what we can or cannot accomplish or expect from people you know those illusions sort of you're letting those go in the 10 of the 3 and the 10 of swords let those go let that those illusions those harmful illusions go and acknowledge your place within the world, how you can make a positive impact, how you are making a positive impact on your community, on where you stand, on what you're bringing to the table, on your power, your power. This can be, um, you, you have so much awareness and control, Cancer. So maybe this is um, something, let, let's see if we can get some more cards. Is this something helping your community or helping people around you? Uh, guiding people, um, opening up to the world, helping people in the world, not surprising in uh, the, these um, current circumstances. Yes. Wow. 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 Okay. So we have the justice. One, two, three, four major arcana, five major arcana in a row. The fool. High priestess, emperor, world, justice, fool. I mean, this is all about beginning, all about power, and all about doing what is right. You want something right. You want something done. You want justice done. Justice being there for others and helping others. This is really feels like you're helping others and you're being there for others and you're defending others. It can be the law, doesn't have to be. It can be social. It can be um, just being there for others, your generosity, your kindness, your help in, you know, uh, whatever it is for you. It is something important, justice. It, it's, a, it's also, um, yes, fair. You want it to be fair. You want, you want it to be honest. And you want to be there for others. But the justice is also uh, making bold decisions and making long-term decisions. So whatever happened here, whatever your path is, take it as it resonates, um, this justice here is a really important choice that you're making in your life. Um, and, and it's a long-term choice, a long-term impact in your professional life, in your personal life. And, and it's like whatever you're choosing this week, whatever this big, because you have five major arcana back to back, pulling it together, successful, in control, making those decisions, but making a long-term decision, right? And so this is asking you to have faith in yourself, to align yourself with your highest good, with your awareness, whatever that clarity is, such clarity on who you are and what you represent and what you're bringing to the world, what solutions you're bringing, how you're helping people. I really have a sense of helping people. Uh, being there for others. So if you're out there in the world, my heart goes out to you. If you're helping people out during these difficult times, however it is, wherever you are in the world, love and light to you for what you're doing. You're amazing. Um, 
it is amazing to have people like you in the world. And if you are fighting for something, if you're helping people along the way, however, humanitariously, humanitariously, I don't know, I don't know if you say it that way, um, however you're doing it, being there for others, helping others that are in uh, difficult times and difficult situations, uh, being there to make their life better and to help them find a better place in their heart, in their soul. And you are there to guide them. And you are giving your soul and your energy. It's very, very touching your energy to these people. I don't know who I'm reading for, um, but you are in the right place. You are doing this with, um, integrity, standing by your decisions, ready to stand by every step of the way, uh, held accountable. You, 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 you have really dug deep to figure this out, dug deep to find that right place of strength and integrity to be there for others, to find that power and to find that um, inner calmness, to feel that you have to be there, to feel that you have to help people. Amazing, amazing. Whoever I'm reading for, amazing. So thank you, thank you for everything you're doing especially during this difficult time. So I, I, I'm not sure what this is all about, but um, I am aware of everything going on in the world right now. And if you are suffering or if you're helping people suffering, please know love and light to you and strength to everyone out there. Um, I feel like you're going back home. You're going home to help people. You're going home maybe to help children, to be with children. It is a very, very uh, nostalgic place you are at to help people. It is a very, very profound reading, Cancer. I am not sure who I'm reading for. Comment down below if you are in this situation. Comment down below. Share. If you don't want to share, you don't have to share. Just put a heart down there and, you know, to know that you connected with this reading because it is very, very profound and so many major arcana. It's like that choice in your life where you're pivoting on that true soul path. Uh, opening up, planning, opening up to the world, helping and being there for others, planning, a lot of planning, a lot of deciding, uh, you know, making this happen. Wow. All right, let's see. Um, let's see if there are a few more cards that want to come out. These, these weekly readings, uh, you know, they turn out to be as profound as monthly readings, if not more, because I feel like there's a concentrate. Yes. So again, the nine of swords. So it's not again, it's you have the three and the 10 and the nine, this anxiety and this, yes, I, I think that the trigger for you to start this new powerful path is the, all these swords and this um, these hurtful moments and anxiety triggered moments where you are diving into something completely different. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. And you're offered, you might be offered a new position, a new opportunity. And it's actually a financial opportunity or, or someone is generously offering you money, offering you finances to make this happen. Maybe it's the generosity of others. Let's pull some more cards to see what's going on. But there's definitely money coming in, uh, no matter what the situation is. Whether it's a nonprofit, whether it's, yes, it's something that you're in control, you are controlling financially, you maybe you have saved some money and other people are participating financially as well to pull it all together. Cancer. 
Money and Career Weekly, April 11 to 17. Okay, so yeah, the strength card, uh, not not surprising. You have the stamina, you have the willpower, you have the spirit. No matter what happens, you can make this happen. You have the power. The strength is all about, you know, that inner human spirit, that ability to overcome any obstacle. It's about knowing you can endure life's obstacles, knowing that you're there, knowing that you have that great stamina, that persistence, and that balance and patience and inner calm to make it all happen. You are so committed. You are so committed, Cancer, whatever it is. And again, the strength is about that higher awareness, that maturity, that composure, composure. You're you're really in such a different state. You are not, you have a different clarity, a different point of view, a different way of thinking in such a different state of, you know, of awareness by learning how to express yourself, learning how to express other people's emotions, translating the emotions, uh, connecting with others, con constructing and helping others. All the ego is out the door. All the fear is out the door. And, and all, everything's gone. How you are, because you're ch channeling this new power, you're channeling this new emotion to be there, just to be there. Ten of Wands. Yes, I'm putting this here. Uh, whatever it is, there's a cycle that finished, right? W whatever it is that you finished, it has projected you, projected you on a different planet projected you on a different path and it's a whole different system a whole different environment that you are now protecting I don't know where that came from protecting and pushing forward believing in and protecting maybe you're protecting people maybe you're protecting land maybe you're protecting um your your city your place your family right and you're protecting and you're ready you are ready three of wands um opening up opening up to new opening up to new places the opportunities to connect with people the opportunities to take on more responsibility in this world did you already have the three of wands no Two of wands. Okay. So you have the two and the three. Progress, progress for it. But this is a you you are taking a leap of faith on a completely different adventure, but something just, something right, something um that's important for you, an important change, an important decision, and long term decision and change. Wow. Profound reading, uh, profound readings, uh, Cancer. So let me know if you connect with this reading. Let me know if this is something that, um, and, and just put a heart down there if you, if you don't want to comment. Uh, yes, a bold decision. Wow, we didn't have the judgment yet. Yeah, the judgment is really that confirmation. When you get the justice and the judgment, it's that confirmation. It's that big, bold decision that you, you're, you're not looking back. This is reinventing yourself. It is that power of, uh, and you have the strength, right? It's that power of uh, that rebirth, that power of finding your, finding your path and knowing this is your soul path. This is really your soul path, being there for others. You're rising up because you're destined to something completely different, something that is much more important. And I feel like you feel it's much more important than you personally it's not for you it's for others and you're ready to act ready to act and you're letting go of the old you're letting go of everything past you know you're ready to act on a whole different level because it's new and it's real and you know who you really are you're much more able to make decisions now because you're 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 aware you're intuitively aware you're intellectually aware and you are at a crossroads where this choice is so significant because it opens up a huge adventure for you and when i say an adventure it's something important very important so it can be the law it can be helping people it can be defending people it can be saving people it is that moment in time where you understand what your um what your your purpose is all about this purpose in your world 
and all the pieces are sort of coming together. Now you're able to take on this new role in your life. It's really a role. Two of cups, two of wands, again, the two of wands opening up to new, new, um, new ways, um, uh, planning the future, choosing that path, knowing you're going to travel, opening up to the world, seeing the world, discovering new people, discovering new lands. I think you're off to, it's almost like a humanitarian trip. Um, that's why I'm feel. That's the way I'm feeling. A humanitarian trip to help people, to be there for people. You're traveling and seeing the world and being with different cultures and different people. And the Two of Cups. You might not be doing be doing that alone. You might be doing that with someone. You know, you're be with your um with someone you're in a relationship with or or a partnership with someone you're partnering up with someone doing this you're not alone um but it's also you realizing that this is important for you it's emotional for you you're connecting with that other person so either you're doing it with another person or you're doing it with your someone that you're in a relationship with or someone you're really close to it doesn't have to be your a relationship it can be a family member it can be um a close friend uh it can be anyone that you have a true emotional connection with and that is with who you are going to go on this adventure pushing forward wow what a what a, a profound reading um um cancer i realize i just pulled those out i guess that's that's i, I just wanted a message for the road <laughs> i didn't do that yet i just like to have one card for the road one message for the road for cancer in this beautiful beautiful reading embarking on a on the adventure of a lifetime really but it, that purpose it's a purpose of a lifetime let's put it that way i probably that's going to be my title yeah take it easy um um assess reassess take a step back when it's overwhelming don't push anything allow everything to flow maybe Make sure you have a perspective of everything going on. Make sure you understand everything that's going on and then assess and then move. Assess and then step forward, right? Don't rush anything. Let it all flow. Let it all come in uh, so you can understand what you're getting into. Wow. Wow, Cancer. This is your purpose. This is your purpose. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell, if, especially if you connect with this reading. Or if you come around and enjoy these readings and have watched them before, please subscribe and hit the bell. That's very important. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for all your likes, your shares. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, thank you for helping pushing this channel all the way to 10k. Thank you, Cancers. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.